Here we're looking at our pellet furnace again, our fluidized bed pellet furnace, and we're doing some experiments today. Ran to a very interesting problem. Uh, what would happen is uh, occasionally when our feed motor would turn on, or our uh, screw feed motor, we would see that the temperature reading to our PLC inside of here would suddenly spike. And for no apparent reason, just go all the way full scale. So we did some experimenting and we took the temperature transmitter, which is right in there, and we changed the burnout mode of the transmitter from high scale burnout to low scale burnout, thinking that maybe for some reason it was detecting a, a bad thermocouple. We did that and then suddenly it was going low scale instead of high scale. So for some reason our temp transmitter is actually going into burnout mode and we don't know why. Now we don't think it's an actual wiring problem with the thermocouple because it seems to correlate with the running of this auger. When we don't run the auger, it doesn't happen. It's only when we run the auger. So we think that perhaps the thermocouple circuit is picking up electrical noise from the power being fed to the auger motor, and that might be the cause of our problem. We'll be doing some more investigation later on to find out exactly what the problem is and why, but we think we're on the right track. In the meantime though, between the moments when the thermocouple uh, temp transmitter was going to fail mode, we're noticing very good control of this. We're able to actually control within a couple percent of set point, uh, looking at our PID setup screen here in the Allen Bradley software. We had our set point set for 75. We we're able to control within about 74 to 76 um, percent, uh, real close to our set point of 75 with very rudimentary tuning. A gain of two and a reset of 100 minutes per repeat. So uh, very promising results so far. Just got to get past this thermocouple problem and I think we'll have ourselves a good controlling system.